Hello there. So now we've uh, selected uh, our camera and we've done our basic setup of our camera. Uh, we're going to have a look at the pan tilt and zoom control of the uh, camera. So before we go into the pan tilt and zoom control options uh, in the camera settings, first of all we need to activate the pan tilt and zoom control. So again, if we're going to go back to the settings tab, we're going to go to camera and we're going to twirl down the camera options by clicking on the little plus box and then we're going to go to the option that is labelled PTZ controller <coughs> okay so first thing is is make sure you have internal PTZ controller selected remember we're on port 4 so uh, at the moment we don't have a general PTZ camera connected we have an AKCP camera so if we uh, click the down arrow you'll see that we have an AKCP pan tilt camera not pan tilt and zoom uh, we're just using the pan tilt camera at the moment select that option uh, and then click save okay so uh, that's all done so now we can go straight back to the summary page make sure video 4 is selected okay and then you'll notice uh, the first of all is when you actually move the crosshair uh, over the video, win uh, video window it actually changes from a mouse arrow to a crosshair. Now by clicking anywhere in this image it will actually move the camera. So for example if we just want to have a look at the uh, emergency lighting box on the wall over there we can click it and there you go uh, that is now the center uh, of the frame and we can move it anywhere we like uh, 360 degrees around the office. Now another way of doing that is actually going into the pan tilt and zoom control options. So we will click that. Okay, and that brings up a uh, new window. So again, uh, you can click anywhere within this video window and uh, it will move the camera. Um, or you can actually use the D-pad on the left hand side here. Now the arrows uh, on the, the inner arrows here, if you click this, it will essentially move it a uh, three steps at a time which is the increment uh, at the top of the page here again if we click the up arrow it will move it three steps up left three steps left and down three steps down now the outer arrows will actually uh, move the camera to the maximum of its axes in either direction so if we click the up you'll see that the camera goes to the maximum if we click down down and so forth and the same is with the left and the right so we'll click right and there we go uh, so let's um, let's move this back a little bit so it's a fairly flexible system you know you can zoom in on uh, any area that you choose to from the interface now the uh, pan tilt increment at the top here, you'll notice that you've got an orange uh, arrow that you can actually move left and right. And that essentially uh, changes or increases and decreases the amount of degrees in which the camera moves when you, cl when you click these uh, inner arrows or the outer, well the, just the inner arrows here. Now once, uh, now we've done that, we're actually gonna have a look at the action table which is uh, below. Now what the action table does is it allows you to enter uh, predetermined coordinates uh, or a position in which you'd like the camera to focus on for any given time. Now essentially what that means is an example we'll go ahead and we will click add. Now what we're going to do is if we click any somewhere in this uh, video window okay as soon as we've done that you'll notice that all these coordinates uh, change and we can click save. We've now entered an action. Uh, so we will go ahead and we will save the action and we'll go ahead and add another one. So this time we will focus the camera uh, further over here. Okay and again we'll click uh, save. So now we've entered two actions on our table uh, and we will click save action. Now once we hit run continuous, the camera will continually flick between those two points, uh, focus, uh, constantly recording, 
uh, and you can have a, uh, a whole sequence uh, in which you'd like your camera to focus. So if we click Run Continuous, you can see that it's now flicking backwards and forwards between those two points for a period of five seconds. Uh, you can also change that within the action table options. So there you go, that's how it's done, very very easy. Uh, we'll click off there. So in the main window you can see now that on it's still flicking between those two points. Uh, nice and easy. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it.